honestly, this lived up to all my expectations. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, as you will have seen from the thumbnail and title, I will be reviewing The Magpie Society by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCulloch. Now, I did an unboxing of this book with a couple of other series a few videos ago and I'll leave the link up there somewhere, but I managed to actually get myself a signed copy of this book and I will show you now. There we go, a nice signed copy and I could not be happier, it is so good. I mean, just from the cover, it looks absolutely amazing. And I didn't look until afterwards, but the actual sort of inside cover of the book, like how amazing is that? Like the purple foil, honestly, it's so good. So if you did not know already, Zoe Sugg is actually, or known as Zoella on YouTube and Amy McCulloch is the person who helped or her editor for Good Online and Amy has her own books I think but don't quote me on that but anyway I pre-ordered this book as I thought it was going to be really good and I'm a fan of Zoella myself and it's basically a YA mystery crime a little bit of suspense thrown in there and if you've watched Zoe's videos, you'll know that she loves things like Broadchurch and other shows like that, which I absolutely love as well. So I thought this is going to be right up my street and I can't wait to read it. So this is the Magpie Society, One for Sorrow. Now, even as soon as I picked up this book and I saw the title One for Sorrow, I obviously thought of the, like, the nursery rhyme, One for Sorrow, Two for Joy, Three for a Girl, Four for a Boy. And... I thought that maybe potentially this could be something of a series rather than an individual book and as I finished it, it does work as an individual book on its own, I think it could get away with it, but it is definitely a series and we were brought loads of happiness and joy as, as I finished this book, it says at the end that the second one, Two for Joy, is coming out in 2021 so I'm so excited for that, but this book is all about a school called Illumin Hall and it's in England somewhere, not not exactly sure where, but it follows the story of Ivy and Audrey. Now, Audrey is from America, she's from Georgia, and she's moved, and it's her first, like, semester at Illumin Hall, and they've just gone into, like, sixth form, so they're in AS at the moment, if you're Wales, it's like AS, and then next year they'll be going to A2, and it it's all about this magpie society. Now it starts off with a girl called Lola who died last year and she was set to be head girl for the following year at the school and she was a really, you know, good girl, really good grades, really good personality and she just, she died and she fell off the cliffs and then she was found at a party which everyone attended, which obviously isn't ideal and she had the drawing of a magpie on her back which is obviously very weird and she didn't have before so that obviously brought about the mystery and then everything was closed it was a closed case until a girl called clover who ivy has taken under her wing ivy is sort of like a prefect if you like and she was meant to have a prefect room to herself but Audrey came and crashed the party. So obviously you can tell that that friendship did not start very well, especially as Ivy thought she was getting a room to herself for the first time in, you know, her whole lifetime at Lumen Hall and now she has to share a room. So like Ivy, I would be pretty annoyed, but you know, they cracked on with it. So as term continues and things like this, there are boys involved. So there's little bits of romance and there is an absolutely hilarious scene which shows just girl power and it's absolutely hilarious involving a boy and the girls and it's so funny. So you just have to read the book just for that scene because if you imagine it in your head it is hilarious but it follows Ivy and Audrey and their friendship and them trying to solve whether this whole Lola situation was just a suicide or it was an accident, or whether it was murder. Now, there is a podcast that is created that nobody knows anything about, and it's called WKL, WKL Podcast, and that's Who Killed Lola. And obviously everyone's 
just come back to school after the summer holidays where Lola had passed away and everyone you know has grieved and is just finally starting to get over the whole situation when it comes back to bite them again and nobody needs that so people are listening to this podcast and thinking what is this why has someone brought this up again this is horrible this is harsh this why would someone do this but there may be a little bit of truth in what this podcast is saying so ivy and audrey have a hunt on what this podcast could be about and if there's any truth to it so we really get to see their friendship blossom which i absolutely love as i am much more of a fan of ivy as a character i do like audrey but i think i prefer ivy just because i relate to her a bit more in terms of i've always been like really into my work and things just things just little things like that and running and things like that so I really relate to Ivy and I do quite like Audrey as a character and she's definitely developed and blossomed a lot through this book so I can't wait to see her blossom more in the next book but there are loads of twists and turns and there's suspects and then there's not suspects and it just oh my goodness I thought I thought I knew who it was I was very wrong and usually I'm pretty good with these things so I mean there is another book coming out so they may who I'm talking about may still be involved somehow and I think they will be because I have a funny suspicion that this person has some involvement because I don't know if you guys know this but in stories they mention certain details for a reason you don't just add in a detail because it isn't relevant obviously so there's certain things that I'm like, why have they brought that up? This person is obviously involved somehow. So I cannot wait to see how they're involved. But honestly, I would give this book a, I think I'd give it a four and a half out of five. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I think it was an ideal length, just over 300 pages, which is great for a YA. Obviously there's a, the next one coming. So that's obviously a bonus, but I deducted it maybe half a star because I, didn't get into Audrey's character and I think she's the first person we hear off and I didn't get into it quite as quickly as I would have liked but it was still absolutely amazing as you can tell by me giving it 4.5 but if you guys haven't read this already I really recommend you do I know it's a Halloween-y sort of book because it's a crime YA but I read this coming into December now I only just finished it and I absolutely loved it it was amazing so I really recommend you guys have a look at this book so just as a little summary, The Magpie Society, a YA crime mystery thriller sort of book, around 300 pages, which I think is ideal. I gave it a four and a half star because I absolutely loved the characters Ivy and Audrey. I love the twists and turns and I love the setting of Illumin Hall and the history behind it. I thought it was absolutely genius. And the whole fact of the magpies along with the nursery rhyme was absolutely genius as well. So I really recommend you guys read it. You will not guess who did it. I can guarantee you won't guess who did it. But that's it for today's video. I know it hasn't been too long and I think I have chatted quite a lot about this book. So I might have a bit of editing to do. But if you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. My next book I will be reading is Good Girl Bad Blood, which you will know if you've watched my December to be read, which was voted by my Twitter followers. And I'll link that somewhere up here. But if you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you read The Magpie Society or would like to read it. I really recommend you guys do because it was so good. And it's a really recent release, so not many people will have read it. So you can be new on the scene. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss a future video. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye!